So a few weeks ago, I did a fantastic review on the Lenovo X1 Extreme. This was a laptop I've always wanted from Lenovo. A ThinkPad that was a little bit bigger, had a dedicated GPU and a more powerful processor while maintaining that amazing keyboard, security, and of course, ruggedness. But if you're looking at this laptop, you might've noticed another one called the ThinkPad P1. It looks exactly the same, but has a few key differences inside that make it very unique. Now, in terms of build quality, you can't really tell the difference. They look exactly the same. In fact, the only way to notice the difference is by looking at the top lid of the Extreme. With the Extreme, you got the X1 logo, whereas on the P1, it's completely clean. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the ports with you. If you wanna see the port set up, they're basically exactly the same. You can check out my X1 Extreme review in the description down below. The other difference is what's inside. With the P1, you get a slightly faster hard drive. The X1 Extreme is using a Samsung P981. Whatever version of that drive they're using in the P1 is actually a little bit faster. You get two slots on both laptops, so you can put up to two terabytes of NVMe SSD storage. You have a nice big 50, 80 milliamp battery in there, which should get you about four to five hours of use before needing to charge. But the big difference is actually the CPU. With the P1, you're getting a Xeon processor, so you're getting slightly faster clock speeds and a workstation processor for more demanding tasks. Whereas on the X1 Extreme, you're using the very fast i7-8750H. Now the difference in performance is not huge but it's more than enough for certain applications that you'd want to lean towards the P1 for specifically that reason. The other thing is the GPU. On this one, you're getting the 1050 Ti Max-Q, whereas on the P1, you're getting the P2000 Max-Q. Now this all comes down to the type of work you're doing. For someone like me who edits video, who likes to game every once in a while, the X1 makes a lot more sense. You're getting great frame rates, you're getting good performance, you can game between medium and high settings, and for video work, it's actually better to use the consumer version of NVIDIA GPUs than it is to use the Quadro variants. Now, if you're someone who's doing SolidWorks, maybe you're doing AutoCAD or any application that requires ISV certification, you're not gonna find that on the extreme. If something goes wrong with your workstation laptop, let's say between the hardware and the software that you're using, because it's certified, when you call support, you're actually gonna get taken seriously. If you were to call support using SolidWorks, with your 1050 Ti GPU, they're probably not gonna take you as seriously and you're more likely have to hunt for your own answers. The other thing, the RAM inside both of these computers, they're both very fast, but the big difference is again, on the P1, you're getting memory with ECC. Now ECC is basically a type of memory that monitors the soft and hard errors that come in while information is being transferred. It looks for those errors and if it's not in parity, it will try to correct them. This is super important if you're a financial institution because any downtime or any errors is a big issue. And finally, the last major reason why you choose the workstation over the regular laptop is because you get the P2000 Quadro card. This is the only card at least from NVIDIA, or at least the series of cards that will allow you to edit 10-bit footage. You cannot edit 10-bit footage with a GTX GeForce card. You have to buy a Quadro card or buy a laptop that uses an AMD GPU. So besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. Two speakers on the bottom, not the best, but they're good enough for most situations. They both have fingerprint scanners so you can log into your device using Windows Hello, or if you don't want to use that, they both have the infrared cameras on top where you can use facial recognition. Actually, Nipples, are they the same? Let's find out. Same quality nipples. Besides that, you get 4K displays on both models. But the big difference, again, is that you're getting a 10-bit panel on the P1, or you're gonna use 8-bit on the X1. Noise, fan noise, exactly the same, and also heat management is pretty much on par. So here are my closing thoughts. The power of both of these laptops are in different ways. This has a better CPU, you're gonna get slightly faster speeds. So if whatever applications you're using are more CPU intensive, you're gonna get better results with the P1. However, when it comes to GPU, and this is even for people who use AutoCAD and SolidWorks, the list goes on, you actually might get better performance from the 1050 Ti Max-Q. It has more CUDA cores, it has faster clock speeds and it performs a little bit better. However, if that's not good enough for you and you need that ISV certification and all the support you can get, then you're better off going with the Quadro card because if you call in one day to let's say to Adobe or Autodesk and you have an issue with the software, they'll talk to you and help you fix it with the P1, whereas on the X1 Extreme, they might not take you 
as seriously. It really comes down to your personal preferences in the industry that you're currently in. Financial institutions, you're probably gonna get the P1. For everybody else, the X1 Extreme offers a lot more value for a lower price tag. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes and I'll see you guys in the next video.